Well, thank you for this privilege. I'm back to where I started, crusading for social justice and working in an academic environment. I'm a professor of law at Stanford University and chair of social justice. My work is primarily around research to advance equality and, and, and possibly end poverty. And a lot of it is around policy reform to eliminate the reasons why we've become the most unequal society in the world and uh, a country where 64.2% of your black African people are poor. And we think a lot of it has to do with uh, policies that fail to do two things, which will be part of my speech today. They fail to do two things. One, they failed to address the shadow of the past. In other words, to build a, 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 a remedial element in every policy. The second part was the policies failed to embrace diversity. So a combination of failure to remedy injustices of the past and to embrace diversity has exacerbated existing poverty and existing inequalities. And the idea is now to coordinate an academic exercise that will help policymakers to plan better, but also to bring business to the party in terms of resourcing the policy reform and, and also providing resources to, to lift those who are left behind, particularly in the poorest of the 4,392. Well, according to Statistics SA, education is a key social determinant of poverty. I think it accounts for about 25% chances of you staying in poverty. But obviously we'll have to look at education as well and then health, um, um, uh, economic inclusion, etc. But my point of view is that we're not going to inv investigate, <laughs> we're not going to invest directly in education, mm -hmm. we're going to go to the municipal wards, 4,392 municipal wards, start by identifying the poorest of them all, and then invest in those, in all outcomes, education outcomes, health outcomes, economic outcomes, employment outcomes, food and nutrition. Mm -hmm. Yes. And lastly, what would you like to, the, the core message of your speech to be for those who will be listening today? Well, the core message is, uh, unless we deal with social injustice our democracy is doomed but to heal the divisions of the past and to address social injustice we need more than government we need government to plan better to prioritize the constitution in terms of section 237 we need business to review its csi practices and its core practices to invest in reducing inequality and poverty we need me, you, students, and everyone else to take responsibility for our own advancement, advancement of our families, and advancement of our communities. And linked to that, we also need to take responsibility to build social cohesion. Because in, in an area where there's conflict, development comes through.